I'm standing in the battle for its court of Queen's Bench, where moments ago a jury delivered the verdict of not guilty in the second degree murder trial of Saskatchewan farmer Gerald Stanley. As the verdict was read out, the courtroom was emotional. Debbie Baptiste, Colton Bushy's mother, leapt from her seat and wailed. All around her, members of her family broke down in tears. People yelled at the jury. Um, they couldn't believe what had happened. They said, how can this be justice? People yelled at Gerald Stanley, you're a murderer, you're a murderer. Members of Colton Bushy's family were led out of the courtroom in tears. Some went to a victim services room. Others fled down the stairs and out into the night where throngs of media were waiting to talk to them. The media has been following this case with great interest in part because of the conversations around race and racism that it has sparked in the last 18 months. Alvin Baptiste, Colton Bushy's uncle, told media that he was shocked by the verdict, that he couldn't believe an all-white jury came back with this. He said it showed that there is no justice for First Nations people in the Canadian justice system, and he said there will be an appeal. I'm shocked, and, you know, I, it's a terrible feeling to, to hear not guilty, and I don't know what to say though, but I'm just, I'm pretty shocked of, of the verdict and that my nephew has been denied justice. Members of Colton Bushy's family coming down the steps, although they said that they were upset and devastated by the decision, urged Indigenous and non-Indigenous people to be calm and to be respectful in spite of the verdict. The RCMP sent out a memo to people earlier this week asking them to be calm and respectful to each other no matter what the verdict was and that's certainly what Bushi's family was calling for tonight.